Hey everybody, today we're gonna do poached eggs. Now, I love poached eggs, but to me it's a hassle. You get water boiling, you put the egg in there, try not to break it, then you have to stir it, to try to keep the egg whites together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, a couple of the um, small containers here, I think some people call them ramekins. I'm gonna put some nonstick cooking spray on them, put the eggs in there and put them in a pan of rolling boiling water, uh, maybe about an inch deep. Um, we're gonna cook them. I don't know how long, because I've never tried this before, but it came to my, like, into my brain, for a better terminology, to um, try a quicker, uh, less messy way of making a poached egg. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know how long it's gonna be until we actually do it. Um, it's only gonna probably take two, three, four minutes at the most, but once again, it's an easy recipe. You can, put together uh, in a pinch. Like I said, I do these not to be complicated, but to simplify things for people that either don't like to cook or don't know how to cook and are looking for different things to try or make for their family. So here we go, and uh, we'll see how this turns out. What I've done is I take some uh, vegetable spray nonstick and sprayed the ramekins, and then I cracked two eggs in it. We're going to put these in a pan of boiling water. It's about an inch of water so it won't come over the top. And we're going to see if we can make poached eggs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a pair of tongs and lower these into the water. And I'm going to put the lid on it. And honestly, don't know how long this is going to take. We'll figure this out once I start to see um, them start to poach and when the egg whites start to um, solidify. Um, and then I'll give you the time. Uh, I'll also put salt and pepper on these uh, before I put them in the boiling water. Okay, here's our little experiment here. So this one was in for two, two and a half minutes. This was in for three minutes. This one's a little slightly more runny. Um, but let's cut into it and see how the yolk looks. The yolk looks fantastic. Um, like I said, I put salt and pepper on this ahead of time. So let's give this a taste. Oops. I'm coming in. Very good. And then this one, a little bit more firm. But still, I'm sure it's fantastic. Yep, thumbs up on either one. If you like a slightly runnier poached egg, two and a half minutes, a little bit more firm, three minutes. But like I said, just use one of these little ramekin type containers. Spray it with some non-stick um, cooking spray into water. Boom, there you go. Once again, quick meal, easy poached eggs. Beats trying to put them in boiling water and stir them, try to keep the egg yolks together and egg whites together. This is a much better way of doing it. Well, there you go. You saw how it turned out. I thought worked out really well, much less hassle as far as I'm concerned on making a poached egg. Um, another way you can also do a poached egg, let me grab up here real quick, excuse me, is in the microwave. So this is kind of convenient because it has a lid, but you can also just take a cup and fill about maybe a fourth of an inch of water in the bottom, put your egg in there, and put it in the microwave for a minute 15, it has to be covered. If you don't, it will explode. If you keep it covered, it'll come out a really nice poached egg. However, it still retains a lot of the water that you um, put in here. But this is a quick way of doing it also. We'll, as you can see with what we did here, that's also a quick way. So um, once again, give it a try. Um, I, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Like I said, not everything turns out perfect, um, but I feel like if I can do these and help, um, I'm bored, so I might as well do them anyway. So signing out from Quarantine Kitchen. You guys be safe and careful out there.